group of young vandals caught on camera. Take a look. You can see them destroying Halloween displays in the front yard of a family home. Our Kelly Kennedy live outside the scene of this crime with a story you'll see on just one station And Kelly. You spoke to this family tonight. They feel violated and those decorations, by the way, they are not cheap. Chris, no, they are not. This family is out hundreds of dollars, and they tell me their three-year-old daughter is devastated. Take a look. We're outside this Parma home. I still think it looks great despite all of the decorations that were destroyed, but they tell me they're afraid to even leave these decorations up just in case these vandals come back and strike again. As you can see, they obviously tore them to shreds. Jen Pavanka and her family are all about spooky season. My daughter obviously got that same obsession of Halloween for me, so she she loves it. It's her favorite and just for it to be ripped away so easily at the mercy of just three young kids who had nothing to do but cause problems. Take a look at this ring camera video. At around four o'clock in the morning Saturday, what looks like three teen boys descended upon this Parma home on Marlboro Avenue. They were just completely tearing apart our decorations. All of the inflatables ripped to shreds by their hands. And then when we thought they were done, they came back and kicked around our, our zombie lights. Pavanka says the kids caused at least $500 worth of damage. I am so disappointed, but it's I'm more disappointed for my three-year-old who now can't come home and give all her little friends hugs. And she told me for Christmas we should put the decorations in the backyard so the bad guys can't hurt them. Pavanka reported the crime to Parma police, and she posted the ring surveillance footage to social media. Apparently, she wasn't the only victim. I think they hit like seven streets within a couple hours span, starting around like two in the morning. I know local streets like Wellington and Maplecrest. Somebody else had their $150 uh, archway was slashed. Um, other people had just pumpkins smashed completely in their yard. What do you think you'll do now? Do you think you'll replace any of these blow ups or maybe not? I'm scared to. I'm so scared to replace any of them. And even for future holidays, Christmas, we have an even bigger display and that scares me to even think about putting it out. I, we have one that didn't get put up. It's my daughter's favorite little bluey character and I told her we'll stick it in the window. And she said, well, are you gonna be sure to lock the door so the bad guys can't come in and get it? Pavanka says she just wants these teens to come forward and take responsibility for their actions. If you recognize any of the people in the video, contact police. Reporting live in Parma, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.